take a moment and imagine a jungle. What do you see? Maybe some sunlight, some trees, animals, maybe some birds. What do you imagine them living together like? Are they surviving off one another? Now, think about a tumor. What do those two things have in common? Hi, my name is Stephanie Edwards Compton, and I'm a researcher who studies nutrition and ovarian cancer. I specifically study how ovarian cancer makes energy and how that changes when it interacts with other cells. Because you see, a tumor is kind of like a jungle. It's not just made up of cancer cells, but a whole bunch of different cells and conditions that help the cancer survive. In fact, cancer can change this environment to help it survive and to help other cells find it so that it can help it divide and grow. That's called the tumor microenvironment. And other cells that live in this place, like fat cells, immune cells, and blood vessels, can provide fuel to that cancer so that it can grow. And cancer can actually make other weaker cancer cells do this because it's all about survival of the fittest. So why should we be studying cancer like a jungle? Because just like in a jungle, those interactions are important, and it tells us a little bit about how cancer behaves and how it reacts. And while we answer those questions, it gets us one step closer to prevention and treatment of ovarian cancer. Thank you.